We're talking today about a fairly obtuse and eclectic topic, which are the nuances of watch design and, most important for this video, band color and material options. The band that you pick and how you treat the band have a tremendous impact on the visual impression, the artistic impression that your watch provides you. So, let's take a look on AliExpress at a car, at a watch called a Mercur. This is on the official store, Mercur official store. It is the Salmon Gather Vintage Men's Dress Mechanical Hand Wind Watch. Here shown with its beautiful salmon dial and black leather band for about 99 plus a few bucks in tax. Now, we have that watch here. Well, let's get to know the watch first before we get into the band specifics. It is based loosely on an Omega Seamaster from about 1952-ish through 58-ish. It does have a slight pie pan, and you might say, hey, what, is, what does the word pie pan mean? Pie pan means that you have like a flat area here, and then the area around it is kind of curved and has an angle. Okay, that's called pie pan. And you'll note that the indices, what are the indices? Those are the little markings, 12, and then this one here. They're kind of conservative, tasteful. If you look around the edge, around the edge, you'll see it has little second indices that are in silver. Okay. The hands are an extremely tasteful, just standard hand. It's a the wording at the top is Mercur in Mandarin Chinese, and down here that would be made in China. It has a rather large winding knob because it is a mechanical, not an automatic, not a quartz. It is a mechanical wind watch, and you can see from the movement of the second hand, it's a very beautiful, smooth movement. Now, the lugs... It's, a, it's an integral lug to the case, means the case itself here, and the lugs are one part. But you do have a um, kind of a satin finish on the lug, which is sanded in a circular pattern around and around. So that's the pattern you'll see when you look there. Um, Overall, again, just a very tasteful, lovely watch. Again, the Mercur Salmon Vintage Men's Dress Mechanical and Wine Watch. Okay, now we're going to get into the meat of this discussion. Now, you can see it was sold with a black textured leather band. And I hate to say it, but there is no way that a salmon watch is going to present itself visually properly with a black textured leather band. Now, a black leather textured band looks phenomenal on a back black watch, but it is just plain way too heavy for a nuanced and even, shall we say, delicate salmon color. You, 
You can't have something which is highly nuanced and delicate on the face and come in with a watch hand, watch band that's that's super chunky heavy. Now, uh, another option which works would be to go with a stainless steel band. Now you can see that works pretty well because the indices are silver and the band is silver, but the heaviness of the band changes the watch into something which I'd say is more retro looking. Um, and it's just too heavy. That's all I can say. So what's one of the things I'm saying? When you have a watch that's not black and not white, because you can do anything you want with a black-faced watch and you can do anything you want with a white-faced watch. But when it comes to these colors, like salmon, you're into a world where you got to be real careful about your choices. Okay, so how I'm going to share with you now how I got to where I got on this watch and why. Okay, it came with the black one. I didn't like it. So then I switched to this dark brown vintage leather watch band, which not really better than the black. The shiny surface didn't seem to work too well. The dark color didn't work very well. And then I struck on the idea of sanding the band with 500 grit sandpaper and now you can see that we have a presentation which is phenomenal let me put it on for you we're gonna take a look at it you can see and then we'll talk about why it works okay you can see it's just, it's a very beautiful, beautiful look. Why? Why does it work so well? Well, look at the texture in the leather. You now have not only a color, which is complementary, but not identical. Complementary, but not identical to the salmon. But more exciting, it has a luscious, gorgeous texture, which only sanding can give you. Now, you'll note down here, I also brushed the clasp. It was quite shiny when it was new, but not anymore. I brushed it because I just don't, I didn't want a shiny one. I think it's just too much. I took the, the threading out here and up here because I didn't want it. I'll take it off again now and present it in a downed position for you. But you can see that the sanding made a huge difference in how the band comes across on the watch. Um, you could go lighter with the band. But this is a man's watch, not a woman's watch. And you have the issue of whether it will stand up to heavy use or a little bit of dirt. This one will. This was approximately the color when I started. And you can see what a huge difference it made to sand it. So, what's the point? The point is that you can consider your watch as an artistic journey. And as you look at your watch, you want to think about what could you do to that watch to make it as interesting as possible. You can use like a color book for paint to look at colors with your watch. You could go online and look at watch bands on AliExpress or on eBay or Amazon. Hold the watch up to those pictures 
and see which one might work. You might go to an artist and say, what do you think would work? What do you think would work well? But you'll find that if you're willing to explore the world of material, color, and texture, you can create something that's really special. And I say, in my opinion, this watch has an extraordinary presentation at this time with that watch band. I It was a big risk, but you know, I didn't like the band, so I figured if it doesn't work, what have I lost? Because I don't like it. Now, there's no question that the silver band worked. It did. But far too heavy for the delicate salmon, okay? And... Here's the watch band that came on the watch, a great watch, and what have I got it on? A very inexpensive day calendar, Casio. And you know what? It looks great because they're both heavy, dark things. You know? So we'll end again going back to the um, Mercure listing. And uh, just so you know, uh, it's made in a beautiful uh, uh, color here. That kind of, um, gosh, that be it. It looks a lot lighter in real life, by the way. It's kind of a rose colored. This is very interesting with the crosshairs in the center. That's the white one. Um, that's a silver watch. That's the watch with the grass cloth, but. I personally feel that is far too rough a texture, and you can see it takes some of the delicacy away from the watch. The black, I think, is not good at all. But again, I wanted that watch band for something else, so I figured I could use it. But now we take a look at what it looks like when it's on what I'd call a correct band. Again, this watch is a Mercure Salmon Vintage Men's Dress Mechanical Hand Wind Watch. It has a K1 mineral crystal, which, as you know, is just a little softer than sapphire crystal, harder than mineral crystal, and harder than acrylic crystal. Um, very tasteful watch. I'm 100% satisfied. Merker is a great company. But again, this wasn't so much about the watch. It was about what you can do with your bands, the coloring, and the texture. And don't be afraid to get in there and uh, do stuff that makes the watch yours. Watches are an interesting thing. You know, they're an artistic statement that's part of you, but kind of small. You know, it's not, it's not a huge thing. You know, I mean, it's about, it's about that big. So it's not huge. It, uh, it's on the smaller side, but little decisions about color and texture and material make a huge difference on uh, the impression that it makes on you. I'm not worried so much about other people. It's just, are you totally happy with uh, what you're doing? I'm assuming if you collect watches, that's what you're interested in is how do you feel about it? Hope this video was of help to you. It's an area I'm fascinated with. What makes the look? How can we affect it? What's better? What's worse?